Jaguars are large wild cats, five feet or one and a half meters, weighing up to 300 pounds or 135 kilograms. They can roar like lions and tigers, but with a coughing sound. They live along waterways in jungles of, um, of Mexico, Central America and South America. They are excellent climbers and leapers. They are kept in well-barred cages in zoos, rarely in moated cages. Jaguar reads J J J J reads J J J A Jaguar, a Jaguar jumped into a Jeep. He jammed on the horn. Beep 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 beep. Jimmy Jaguar was just starting to drive. Look out, he would say, honking his horn. Jump out of the way. Here comes Jimmy Jaguar in his Jeep. Soon everyone in town knew when Jimmy Jaguar was coming. Beep beep would go the horn. People would look at each other and say, there's Jimmy Jaguar again. What a nuisance. One day Jimmy Jaguar was going down the street in his Jeep. He decided that the car in front of him was going too slow. Beep beep went Jimmy Jaguar's jeep horn. Suddenly Jimmy Jaguar noticed a flashing red light behind him. It was a police car. Jimmy Jaguar pulled the jeep over to the curb. What had he done wrong? His heart was beating fast. Jimmy Jaguar saw that this was the chief of police himself. He must be in big trouble. Jimmy Jaguar, what are you doing in that jeep? asked the chief of police. I, uh, I was just driving, sir. Yes, I know you were driving. What else were you doing? Jimmy Jaguar swallowed hard. I was uh, beeping the horn, sir. Yes, I know that, Jimmy Jaguar. I guess in everybody in town knows that. I've had a lot of complaints about your driving, Jimmy Jaguar. Really, sir? Oh, I thought I was a safe driver. You are a safe driver, Jimmy Jaguar, but you just make entirely too much noise. Everybody is talking about Jimmy Jaguar's Jeep that goes beep beep. It is just too much. You are disturbing the peace. Jimmy Jaguar felt dejected and sad. He hadn't realised it bothered people when he beat the horn of his jeep. I'm sorry, sir, he said in a very low, quiet voice. I, I will stop beating the horn. I think you should, Jimmy Jaguar. The horn is on your jeep for a purpose. It is not meant to be used all the time. There are times when you really need a horn. If you go around beeping all the time, no one will pay attention when you really need to use the horn. I'll be careful, sir. I really will, Jimmy Jaguar promised. I won't beat the horn unless it's really necessary. All right, Jimmy Jaguar. I hope you will remember. I'll remember, sir. Really, I will, Jimmy Jaguar promised. He really did. Jimmy Jaguar drove very carefully and he never beat the horn. Oh, he wanted to, all right. He kept hoping there would be a time and when he would really have to use the horn and could go beep beep. He'd almost forgotten how the horn on the jeep sounded. Jimmy Jaguar wanted to be a careful driver and he certainly did not want a traffic ticket. So he did what the chief of police had said. Everyone said, I wonder what happened to Jimmy Jaguar. You just never hear him beeping the horn on that jeep. Jimmy Jaguar is a good citizen, some said. He does not use his horn unless he really needs it. One day, Jimmy Jaguar was driving home. He could see that the school bus was just a little way behind him. Ahead was one corner where there were bushes and tall trees. Just at the corner was a sharp turn and then a dip in the road. You could not see what was ahead there, here and you had to drive very carefully. 
Jimmy Jaguar was watching as he came slowly around the corner. Everything was all right, but then, just as he got to the dip in the road, he saw that a big tree was down. It was so tall it went right across the road. No one could get at it. Nobody could get by. He stopped quickly with the front of the jeep just touching the tree. What a good thing it was that he had been going slowly. Then Jimmy Jaguar thought of something scary. The school bus was coming. It was just behind him. The driver would not know that the tree was down and the road was blocked. Could the driver stop the big bus quickly? He thought he could hear the big engine of the bus now. He must warn the bus driver. How could he do it? Perhaps the horn on the jeep would help. If the bus driver heard the horn, he would know something was wrong and slow down before the bus came to the place where the road was blocked. Beep, beep, beep! Jimmy Jaguar honked the horn on the jeep. The bus was still coming. Jimmy Jaguar's hand was getting tired, but he jammed on the horn button with all his might. Beep, 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 beep! In the bus, the children all heard the beeps. That's Jimmy Jaguar in his jeep, they said. He's beeping again. Yes, the bus driver said. That's Jimmy Jaguar, but he never beeps his horn anymore. I wonder what is, why he's doing it now. Maybe something is wrong, said one of the children. Maybe he's trying to warn us. Yes, the bus driver said. That may be it. I think I'd better go very slowly. This is a dangerous corner. By then the bus was almost to the corner and going very, very slowly. Beep, 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 went the horn on Jimmy Jaguar's jeep. Look, cried the children, a tree is down. The road is blocked. Now I see why Jimmy Jaguar beeped his horn, the driver said. I'm so glad that I slowed down. It would have been very dangerous without Jimmy Jaguar's warning. Jimmy Jaguar stopped beeping his horn. The bus had stopped. Jimmy Jaguar, the bus driver said, that was a very good idea. You helped me stay out of danger. I'm glad, said Jimmy Jaguar. I hated to beep the horn, but it was the right thing to do. Say you, say you used to beep all the time, didn't you? Jimmy Jaguar was just a little bit embarrassed as he said, yes, but I've changed. That's how we know something was wrong, Jimmy Jaguar. You never jam your horn anymore. Just for an emergency, said Jimmy Jaguar. That's why jeeps have horns. What was Jimmy Jaguar just starting to do? He was just starting to drive. How did Jim people know Jimmy Jaguar was coming in his jeep? Yes, he would always beep his horn. Was this a good way to behave? No, it wasn't, was it? It was quite noisy and annoying. Who helped Jimmy Jaguar learn the correct use of a horn? Hmm, it was the chief of police, wasn't it? Did Jimmy Jaguar listen and learn? He did, didn't he? When should a horn be used? Yes, when there's danger and something bad is about to happen. One day Jimmy Jaguar saw danger. What was wrong? Hmm, there was a tree down over the road, wasn't there? How did Jimmy Jaguar warn the school bus? Beep, beep, beep. He beeped his horn, didn't he? Was this a good thing to do? Yes, it was. It helped the bus driver know that something bad had happened. Listen as I read you a word. Can you hear the j sound? Jar. Can you hear the j sound in the word jar? Yes, jar has the j sound. Green. Can you hear the j sound in the word green? No, green doesn't have the j sound. 
jig. Can you hear the j sound in the word jig? Yes, jig has the j sound. Fun. Can you hear the j sound in the word fun? No, fun doesn't have the j sound. Joke. Can you hear the j sound in the word joke? Yes, joke has the j sound. Barn. Can you hear the j sound in the word barn? No, barn doesn't have the j sound. Jaw. Can you hear the j sound in the word jaw? Yes, jaw has the j sound. Bug. Can you hear the j sound in the word bug? No, bug doesn't have the j sound. Jug. Can you hear the j sound in the word jug? Yes, jug has the j sound. Job. Can you hear the j sound in the word job? Yes, job has the j sound. Listen as I read a sentence. Can you find the word that has the j sound? Do you like riddles and jokes? Can you find the word that has a j sound? Do you like riddles and jokes? Yes, jokes has the j sound. Samson won the battle with a jawbone. Can you find the word that has the j sound? Samson won the battle with a jawbone. That's right, jawbone has the j sound. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Can you find the word that has the j sound? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. That's right. Joy has the j sound. Jump up here, kitty. Can you find the word that has the j sound? Jump up here, kitty. That's right. Jump has the j sound. A jeep can drive up hills. Can you find a word that has the j sound? A jeep can drive up hills. That's right. Jeep has the j sound. Let's blend these sounds. J, A, J, A, J. J, A, J, A, J. J, A, J, A, J. J, E, J, E. G, J, A, J, A, J, J, I, J, I, J, I, J, I, J, I, J, I, J, O, J, O, J, O, J, A, J, A, J. Let's blend these sounds into words. J. A d, j a d, jade, jade, j a u, j a u, jail, jail, j a k, j a k, jack, jack, j a m, j a m, jam, jam. J a b, j a b, jab, jab, j a g, j a g, jag, jag, j a r, j a r, jar, jar, j e e p, j e e p, jeep, jeep, j e e r. J e e r cheer cheer, j e n j e n jean jean, j e t j e t jet jet, j e s t j e s t chest chest, j e g j e g jig jig, j e o k. Oak, joke, joke, 
J O U T J O U T J O L T J O L T J A G J A G J A G J A G J A B J A B J A B J A B J A T J A T J A T J A T Prove what is good. Romans 12, 2b. Many times we may not know what to do. We may think there is no way out of our trouble. Sometimes we have a problem and we cannot find an answer. God always has an answer for his children and he will show us if we ask him. Wherever Jesus went, people had already heard about him and they followed to see and hear him. One time he took a trip on a ship and when he landed on the shore many people gathered quickly to hear him. Some had come to be healed, some to learn, some perhaps were there who did not even believe in Jesus. On this day a man named Jairus came to see Jesus and wanted to speak to him. Jairus was a ruler of the synagogue. That is, he was a religious leader and an important man. When Jairus saw Jesus, he fell at Jesus' feet, knowing that Jesus was God. Jesus could tell that the man was very sad. Jairus said, My little daughter is sick and at the point of death. I pray you, Jesus, to come and lay hands on her that she may be healed and live. The little girl was 12 years old. As Jesus walked along with Jairus, many people crowded around wanting to be healed. There was a woman who had been ill for a long time. As she followed Jesus, she said to herself, if I can just brush against Jesus, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be made well again. Nearer and nearer she got, and sure enough, when she touched Jesus' cloak, she could tell that she was made well. Jesus knew what she had done. He wanted her to tell about it. He said, someone touched me. Jesus turned to look at the woman who was now afraid and trembling. She fell down before Jesus, telling how it was she who had touched him and had been healed. Jesus kindly said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Such crowds of people there were, each one wanting to be near Jesus. Jairus, I am sure, felt sorry for the woman and was glad that she was healed, but he must have hoped that Jesus would hurry to his house. After all, Jairus's little girl was at the point of dying when he had left, and he knew she would not live long. Still, Jairus had faith in Jesus. As they walked along, a messenger came towards them, and Jairus realised it was someone from his own household. Did the messenger bring good news or bad? Your daughter is dead, said the messenger. Why should you trouble the master further? The little girl was dead. Jairus was afraid. Was it too late? He knew Jesus could heal, but could he bring the dead back to life? Jesus turned to Jairus. Don't be afraid. Only believe and your daughter will be made well again. Did Jairus dare to believe it? Could it be that his daughter would live even though they had said she was dead? He did believe Jesus. How anxious he was to arrive home and see about his daughter. Near the house, Jesus stopped the crowd of people. Only G Peter, James and John were allowed to come into the house along with the girl's father and mother. As they neared the house, they could hear a great noise, as many people were already there weeping and crying out of their sorrow. Jesus walked into the house and he said, Why are you making all this ado and weeping? The girl is not dead, she is just asleep. Jesus knew what he was going to do and that the girl would, in a few minutes, be alive again. The people did not understand. They did not believe. They laughed and made fun of Jesus. 
Then Jesus went in to where the girl was lying. Reaching over, Jesus took her hand. He said, Little girl, I say to you, arise. Her father and mother looked to see what would happen. Immediately the girl was alive. How surprised they all were. How happy her father and mother were. I am sure they hugged and kissed her and thanked God for this wonderful thing Jesus had brought their daughter back from the death to life. Luke eight forty one to 56 Character Objective Creative To learn to do what I should Jairus did not give up when the messenger came and told him that his daughter was dead. Jairus still had faith in Jesus. If Jesus did not heal her before she died, he could bring her back to life again. There are many disappointments in life, but we must remember that God is always in control. He can help us find a way to do what we ought to. We must ask God to show us the best way in life. As we wait for his leading and don't give up, we will find a way to meet a need or a chore from a different point of view. Memory Verse Prove what is good. Romans 12, 2b. Now say it with me. Romans 12, 2b. Prove what is good. Romans 12, 2b. Let's say it again. Prove what is good. Romans 12, 2b. Romans 12, 2b. Prove what is good. Romans 12, 2b. Let's say it again. Romans 12, 2b. Prove what is good. Romans 12, 2b. Jaguar reads, J, J, J. J reads, J, J. J. I jaguar. Jaguar jumped into 